of extra time tonight to give you the detail in goal for England. Yes, it's David Seaman. He passed fit after a calf strain. It's his 55th cap tonight. Number two, Sol Campbell switched to right back with conspicuous success on Saturday. At three, Philip Neville, who's taken part in all of Kevin Keegan's games in charge. Number four is Paul Ince playing for England tonight for the 48th time. At five, Tony Adams, who's faced Scotland three times before and been a winner on each occasion. At six, Gareth Southgate steps in for Martin Keown, who was injured in training on Monday. Seven, David Beckham, who's on the shortlist now for European Footballer of the Year. At eight, England's footballer of the first leg. Two goal, Paul Scholes. Number nine, Alan Shearer, a scorer here at Wembley against Scotland in Euro 96. At ten, Michael Owen, still only 19, his 18th cap tonight. And the lineup completed by his Liverpool captain, Jamie Redknapp. From Wimbledon to Wembley for Scotland goalkeeper Neil Sullivan. At number two, the tall man from Everton's defence, David Weir. Now a change at three, Callum Davidson of Blackburn Rovers coming in for Paul Ritchie. At four, Davidson's Blackburn colleague, Christian Daly, reaches 20 international caps for Scotland tonight. Five is Colin Hendry, who's due to complete his move from Rangers to Derby County tomorrow. Six, Barry Ferguson, who showed his considerable potential for Scotland last Saturday. For number seven, Billy Dodds hit the bar at Hampden and never gave England a moment's peace with his chasing. At eight, Craig Burley, who's played in an FA Cup final here at Wembley for Chelsea. Nine, the choice to replace the suspended Gallagher, Neil McCann, a fifth cap for the Rangers forward. No change needed at 10. Don Hutchison came through a fitness test on a calf injury. He plays. And 11, John Collins, who along with Hendry and Burley played against England here at Wembley in Euro 96. So we're set to go from a rollicking Wembley in London right after the break. up there alongside Alan Shearer. And Colin Hanbury got between the two of them. Hutchison only half away. Red nap for England. And here's Owen's acceleration. No end product. Brilliant play to start with. It left him absolutely for dead. And it's a quicker turnaround in European competition as you could ever imagine to see. Anything is possible. Here's Hendrick. But scores! Well, oh. he needed a shout, Colin Hendrick. Barry Ferguson tracked him so far. He's at full stretch to try and deal with this. He needed a bit of help from players behind him. He stretches, and you see Ferguson had tracked 
Scores all the way. It's a wonderful strike from a young lad. And why shouldn't it be so confident? Sets up beautifully for him to hit it. It's only a foot wide. Very close. Kevin thinks it's in. Not this time. The Blackburn man. And his club colleague, Davidson. It's a useful cross, too. Oh, what a chance. Barry Ferguson with the header. Well, I'll we'll have to say, Martin. Dented with in the early minutes of the game. Attuned to proceedings, maybe more now, Neil McCann. Here he is again. Hutchison trying to stay inside by the far post. Plays regularly in the Rangers team, and uh, Craig Brown, like Kevin Keegan, has problems with the foreign contingent in the top clubs. He wanted some penetration. Collins. Maybe they'll get it here from Billy Dodds. Well, it would have been offside against Hutchison. Shot. You don't imagine too many going to go down and face one across with the left foot. Yeah, well, indeed, crosses with the right. And Owen puts it in, but the whistle had gone for a challenge by Shearer on Sullivan. No goal for England. Well, you're just not going to agree with this. It's a decent ball in for Philip Neville. But the little push on Henry, then the challenge on Sullivan. The modern game, you just don't get away with it. In my day, you might have. In your day, you'd have been doing it. <laughs> for the cause. This is Burley. Loops up off Neville. Campbell's header. Chance for Collins to drill one goal, was he hoped, but always passing in a controlled way. It needs to be England going through. Eventually tonight, could be any sort of easy ride. Daly. Just an arm raise for a cross. Daly tries to thread a pass and he's done a fine one for Neil McCann. Hutchison! Scotland have scored! Oh, what a ball from Neil McCann. And I'll tell you what, Martin, the one player in the Scottish attacking six players that you'd have wanted on the end of it is that man there. He took a chance of playing, he's part of the line, he played right along the line, but he timed his run beautifully. He wasn't rushed, deliberate with the cross. David Seaman almost stopped him, but look at Hutchison up early, up above Tony Adams. Oh, that's a great goal, a great header, a great leap to beat someone like Adams. And it's a great moment for Scotland. And for Craig Brown, who's pushed the man who played in midfield on Saturday further forward tonight. The deficit is halved. The tension that uh, was there in Kevin Keegan's body language was also... They confronted their challenge here tonight with true professionalism and some fine football. They were making early chances, which they didn't take. This one they did. Don Hutchison, head and shoulders above England on the cross. And Craig Brown punching the air with delight. It's game on at Wembley, no doubt about that. This is only his seventh international. He scored the winner away to Germany earlier this year. But it's only half the job as far as Scotland are concerned. Two to possibly take us to extra time. Well, he will have known some Scotland teams that have come here as under. His contributions have been rather individualistic so far. Beckham. Oh, and it's run beyond Hendry to Alan Shearer. Who saw fleetingly the chance to settle England down and risk. in the game at some time. It comes out to Craig Burley. Pressure. There's a decent ball into the feet of Shearer from Sol Campbell. Heskey. Crossing early. Jamie Redknapp covered a lot of ground to get there. Get it back ten yards, please. I'm not there yet. Hutchison! A fumble by Seaman, Scotland arriving at the double. Well, England 
hope it was fortunate. This comes off from another foot. Full seniority. Beckham does take it. Oh, that was close. That was close. And where Kevin Keegan was sat, this might have looked in. That's a foot. Through the centre. And it might run on here for Billy Dodds. Virgil is there as well. Corner for Scotland. England Hearts were beating very, very quickly there. We're going to get caught out. Paul Ince got caught on Saturday when Kevin Gallagher had a chance, but what a tackle again. How often has Tony Adams come to not only club, but country's rescue? What a big, big challenge that was. Not many would have thought Scotland would really still be in it at this stage tonight, but they certainly are. They've got a corner. Oh, and David Seaman stops them. Going level on aggregate. Oh, I don't believe it. What an instinctive save from the England goalkeeper. He knows nothing about this. Great touch on. It's just instinct. Any moment it's at him before he knows it. Anywhere else, that's a goal. Anywhere. On the goal. He just throws his arms up. It's definitely Christian Daly. And much like Gary McAllister's penalty miss when he just threw himself across, the elbow went up and away it went. Well, it's a little bit like deja vu for Scotland. Okay. Stoles is up with the Leicester man. That's Jamie Redknapp. Has a crack! Bob Hutchison. Heskett. Distance important for Beckham. Anywhere he'll do for England now. Touching distance. He's within touching distance of achieving what England set out for, but not by the way that England wanted. The plaudits go to Scotland tonight. The prize goes to England. The place in the European finals next summer. But how close it was. David Seaman made a wonderful save from Christian Daly at a vital time. The goalkeeper who broke Scottish hearts here with Gary McAllister's penalty save in 96 has come up with something similar in 99. Craig Brown plotted England's downfall tonight and he can look at a win at Wembley for Scotland through Don Hutchison's header. Neil Sullivan hardly threatened and England got caught up in a nervy performance and never really put their game together. But those two goals at Hampden Park in the first quarter of this contest that has provoked such traditional rivalry. All skulls is goals. Settled in England's way. By the side.